हेलो व्यूवर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम थ्री डायमेंशनल जोमेट्री राइट सो हियर वी हैव द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ फाइंडिंग द इक्वेशन ऑफ अ प्लेन व्हिच पासेस थ्रू द पॉइंट्स टू माइनस थ्री वन एंड माइनस वन वन माइनस सेवन एंड परपेंडिकुलर टू द गिवन प्लेन राइट एक्स माइनस टू वाई प्लस फाइव सेट प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो right so here what we are given uh, we are given uh, a plane and we have to find the equation of another plane uh, which passes through these two points right suppose uh, say uh, we have uh, uh, to find the equation of uh, this plane right and let us denote this plane by p and this plane p it passes through these two points a and say b right so this is point a and this is point b right and uh, this plane uh, is perpendicular uh, to some uh, other plane whose equation is uh, given by this equation right so uh, we have uh, another plane say uh, this is the plane and uh, this plane this plane is perpendicular to this plane and the equation of uh, uh, this plane is x minus 2y uh, plus 5z plus 1 is equal to uh, 0 right so now here uh, what we will do uh, we'll uh, apply the concept of normal vector right see uh, we have to find the equation of this plane p and the normal vector to uh, the plane uh, p may be drawn like this and uh, the normal vector to this plane uh, that is uh, the plane x minus 2y plus 5z plus 1 is equal to 0 uh, the normal uh, vector to this plane may be drawn like this right suppose here we can take n1 and this may be taken as n2 right and this plane p uh, and let us denote this plane by p1 right so now this plane p is given as perpendicular to p1 hence if two planes are perpendicular then their normals are also perpendicular right so n1 is perpendicular to a vector n2 so n1 vector is the normal vector to this plane p whose equation is to be Um, calculated and uh, n2 is the normal vector to this given plane uh, p1 right so now this is the situation right so these two normal vectors are uh, also perpendicular right and here uh, we know the direction uh, ratios of uh, uh, this normal uh, which are given by the uh, Uh, coefficients of x y and z in this equation right so the normal uh, n2 has the direction uh, ratios 1 minus 2 and 5 right and now we have to find the direction ratios of uh, the vector n1 right okay now here uh, we are given that this plane uh, p it passes through uh, the point a which is uh, uh, 2 minus 3 and 1 right and we know that uh, the equation of a plane uh, passing through uh, a point is given by uh, ax minus x1 plus b y minus y1 plus c uh, z minus z1 is equal to 0 right so this is the equation of a plane which passes through uh, a given point and here the point is given as 2 minus 3 and 1 so here we'll substitute x1 y1 z1 as 2 minus 3 and 1 and a b c are the uh, direction uh, ratios of this normal vector n1 right so we have a b and c right so now we have a x minus 2 then we have b y plus 3 and then we have c z minus 1 is equal to 0 right now uh, this uh, 
equation also passes through this point P, right? Because uh, uh, the plane P uh, also passes through, also passes through uh, the point uh, B, which is given by minus 1, 1 and minus 7, right? So let us substitute here minus 1 1 minus 7 for x y and z so now we have a and uh, minus 1 minus 2 then we have b 1 plus 3 and then we have uh, c and here we have minus 7 minus 1 is equal to 0 so we have minus 3a then we have plus uh, here we'll have 4b and uh, then we have minus 8c is equal to uh, 0, right? And if we multiply throughout by uh, minus uh, 1, then we have 3a minus 4b plus 8c is equal to uh, 0, right? So now viewers, here we have uh, uh, this equation uh, in a, b and c, right? Okay, so this equation is obtained by utilizing uh, these two points, right? Now let us uh, uh, formulate one more equation in A, B, C by using the concept of direction ratios. Now see, the direction ratios of vector uh, N1 are given by uh, A, B and C and the direction ratios of the vector N2 are uh, given by 1 minus 2 and 5 right and c n1 vector is perpendicular to n2 vector so therefore uh, we know that when two vectors are perpendicular then their dot product is 0 and uh, therefore we have a times 1 plus b times minus 2 plus c times 5 is equal to 0 so we have a minus 2b plus 5c is equal to uh, 0 right so uh, this is another equation in a b and c now we have to uh, solve uh, equation number 2 and equation number 3 uh, to obtain uh, the values of uh, a b and c so now in order to solve the equation number 2 and equation number 3 uh, let us uh, uh, first eliminate uh, one variable uh, from these two equations right and we can select any one variable which is to be eliminated so here I am taking uh, this uh, uh, variable a right so what we will do we will multiply uh, this equation by uh, 3 so that we get 3a right here we have 3a so now we can write this equation as 3a minus 4b plus 8c is equal to 0 and when we multiply equation 3 by 3 uh, we'll have 3a minus uh, 6b plus 15c is equal to 0 and if we subtract uh, these uh, two equations then we have uh, uh, these signs right and these two get cancelled so 6 minus 4 is 2b and 8 minus 15 is uh, minus uh, 7c right and we have 2b is equal to 7c right and uh, uh, we can take 2b equal to 7c uh, equal to say lambda where lambda is some scalar uh, so that we can express b and c in terms of uh, lambda right so therefore b can now be written as uh, 2b can be written as uh, 2b equal to lambda so b is uh, lambda over 2 and 7c is equal to lambda so c is lambda over 7 right okay so now we have to find the value of a in terms of uh, lambda right so we can substitute the value of b and c uh, which are in terms of lambda in equation number 3 so we have a minus uh, 2b is equal to uh, lambda and uh, here we have 5c so we can write 5 lambda over 7 is equal to 0 and this is a minus uh, or we can take uh, these two terms uh, to the right 
uh, right hand side so we have uh, uh, lambda minus 5 lambda over 7 and this is 7 lambda minus 5 lambda over 7 and this is uh, 2 lambda over 7 so the value of a is 2 lambda over 7 right so here uh, we have obtained the values of a as 2 lambda over 7 b as uh, lambda over 2 and c as uh, lambda over 7 right and now we can substitute these values of a b c in equation number uh, 1 uh, to get the equation of uh, this plane p so now equation number 1 it becomes uh, we have a is 2 lambda over 7 so we have 2 lambda over 7 x minus 2 uh, then we have uh, lambda over 2 uh, here we have lambda over 2 then we have y plus 3 and then we have uh, lambda over 7 and we have uh, z minus 1 right and this is equal to uh, 0 so now uh, we can uh, divide uh, we can divide or we can say we can multiply uh, this entire equation by uh, say uh, 14 and uh, if we multiply throughout by 14 uh, we have here uh, 4 lambda and we have x minus 2 then here we'll have 7 lambda y plus 3 and here we have uh, uh, 2 lambda uh, z minus 1 is equal to 0 right so what we have done here we have taken the LCM of uh, 7 and 2 uh, that is 14 and uh, we multiply uh, the whole equation by 14 right and now we can uh, divide throughout by uh, lambda since lambda is not equal to 0 so we have 4x minus 2 plus 7y plus 3 and here we have 2 times z minus 1 is equal to 0. So this is 4x minus 8 plus 7y plus 21 plus 2z minus 2 is equal to 0. Right? And now we can simplify it. So we have uh, uh, 4x plus 7y plus 2z and uh, here we have 21 minus 8 is 13 and 13 minus 2 is 11 right so uh, this is the uh, cartesian equation of uh, this plane p so now viewers uh, we can also express this equation in vector form this is the cartesian form and uh, in vector form we can write vector r dot uh, 4i cap plus 7j cap plus 2k cap and uh, uh, we can take this 11 to this side so we have minus 11 right so this is the uh, vector form of the equation of this plane p and this is the uh, cartesian form so this is how we solve uh, this problem